Okay. I'm hooked on Maria Takeuchi, or Takeuchi, however you say it. Japanese pop artist. So this is the world famous Pokey Pokey uh, first uh, Poke Bowl bar where I serve people at right here. I wanted to make a show and point out my humbleness to people. Yes, it is me, people. Hi. I am not beneath making Poke Bowls for people. Just because I make movies and do a million other things and Mr. Landlord, Mr. This, Mr. That, it is not beneath me to serve people and humble myself. This is a Poke Bowl window for display, by the way. And yes, hula dancers are still going in the daytime on the TV, if you can't tell. You guys can't see the reflection from here. But yes, yeah, my little uh, my little slice of heaven on earth right now at the Pokey Pokey. I got something to talk about today, so I'm going to set this uh, tripod up here after I get something to eat. So chill with me, bear with me for a minute, and we're going to do a show. Hey, back on. I hope you guys can hear me. I feel small all of a sudden from this camera angle. I'm kind of guessing this is must, must be what it feels like when I have the camera aiming down at girls and my camera's over my, you know, up over my uh, head height. So, shooting down here. I don't have a tripod here just yet, so this is on my divider screen. Anyway, I'm having my own uh, poke bowl here, you know. I do eat my own stuff, by the way, every day. I have actually, I have two or three of them a day. I like them so much, that's why I sell the fucking things. So, this is the pokey pokey, and I want it to tell everybody, look, yes, I do a lot of shit. I'm like a decathlete. I make movies, I write books, I run races, I travel the world, I do this thing called landlording, and I also make Poke Bowls. I'm humble enough to serve the people. I figure selling one product is just as the same as selling another. You give the people what they want, they'll basically be satisfied. If you don't give people what they want, or if you don't stand by your product, they won't be satisfied. So this is what today's show is about. It's just about selling what you love, doing what you love, selling what you love, and standing by your products. So, yeah. So behind the counter here, I just thought this would make a nice background or whatever. Let me pause my music here, turn it down at least. Lately, I've been listening to Katie Pacific and Maria Takeuchi, or Takeuchi, Takeuchi, I'm assuming. Japanese Sentai ladies who sing. I don't understand a lick of it, but it's relaxing or whatever. So, welcome back to the Shimmy Show as I eat my poke bowls. Salmon, usually. Mm. Good shit. So anyway, I'm starting to wonder here, what is it with people? What is it with you people who criticize the pokey pokey? I can understand you criticize me. Maybe you don't like some of my other products. Maybe you don't like my movies. Maybe you don't like my YouTube channel. Maybe you don't like my exercise channel. Maybe you don't like my blog. You're going to start hating on food next? You think it's going to start hating on water? Like, how far are we going to take this? You know? What we going to do here? <laughs> you know? Let's bring out the good old blue exercise ball. It's getting down to the nitty gritty, people. What do you want? Do you want my Poke Bowls? Do you want my channel? Do you want my movies? Do you want my house? Do you want my condo? Do you want my books? You can't have my blood. What do you fucking want? <laughs> it's a crucial question to ask. Um, a lot of people, they don't really realize what it is they actually want. So it's up to me to give you guys suggestions of what you might actually like to eat, to see, to consume, to be entertained by. 
I realized at a very young age that if I was to actually have any traction in this world, I have to provide some service of value to people. I think that's a good topic for this episode. Why don't we just talk about value? Do I have enough battery power? I fucking hope so. Okay. Well, how could I uh, best describe this thing called value? Hmm. Let me stand behind the counter for emphasis. Okay. Now, in this society, it really only values... Honestly, I would say that this society, where I am now, Canada, as well as America, and most of the world, at least most of the Western world, so-called first world countries, the only thing of actual intrinsic value is actually, uh, for women, I would say it's fertility. For men, it's labor and resources. And uh, whenever the intersection of these two things meet, that's generally where we have interpersonal human relationships. One set of value meets with another set of value. More or less, it seems like on caveman or primitive terms, women trade their fertility, men trade their utility at some weird intersection, and government just kind of gets like right in the middle and fucking implodes both of them, but that's another story in itself. But uh, in determining your individual value or worth for the world, a lot of people don't realize uh, the weight or the gravity of their own power. You know, I, I would say that in many cases, a teenage girl may not realize or her society has dumbed her down into thinking that her fertility, her ability to bear children from teenage age up to 40 or whatever it might be, that's uh, actually a valuable thing. You know, this is downplayed by a lot of things or whatever, but in actuality, it's uh, people don't realize that this is like the woman, most women's or girls' most valuable range of ages in their life, whether they want to accept this or not. Okay, if you look at any, okay, let's look at Japanese anime, for instance, uh, Hollywood movies, whatever. Have you ever noticed there's an ongoing trend of uh, someone's daughter, to specifically daughter or girlfriend or whatever, has been kidnapped? How come nobody ever kidnaps grandma? How come? Or great-grandma? Well, the fertility value's down here versus up there for the younger girl, okay? Whether you like to accept it or not, girls, fertile girls, teenage girls, whatever, and just childbearing age women are more valuable to society than women who cannot bear children, than women who cannot reproduce. It's the way things are. Just like if I were a disabled quadriplegic, I would have very little value to the world other than what perhaps my mind can output or something, I guess. But if I don't have the use of my limbs, arms, legs, hands, etc., and I can't make pokey bowls or websites or make movies or run and jump and fuck and do things that people with arms and legs have, then I'm considered to have less value in society. Even if I had $10 million or $1 billion, how about that? What good would the $1 billion be if I were in poor health and had no limbs? I might even need more than that just to satisfy my brain or whatever, right? So it's like, let's talk about value. Let's talk a lot about value. One thing that a lot of uh, guys have trouble accepting and swallowing is that a lot of girls don't like them for who they are. I think, I think I fell into this trap too of thinking that girls liked me for who I am or loved me for who I am. And in actuality, it was really just about the level of value they perceived me to have. Throughout most of my life, it's like a lot of girls have miscalculated my value to my advantage, of course. So. It's like, oh well, but you know, I, I used to get uh, really fucked up over that in the head years ago because I would think to myself like, what's wrong with these pussy assholes? Can't they see that I'm a valuable person? I'm a genius, self-proclaimed. I have resources, this, that, and the other. I run this business, that business. I'm a runner, a race car driver, decathlete, this, that. But in their eyes, I'm also five foot nine. I appear to drive a bucket ass car and shit like that you know it's like a girl might look at me and measure me only on three or four metrics instead of looking over here i talked about this in another show i think you know before you judge somebody you should google them and see how much property or land or businesses or resources or shit they own and control and 
pretty much spin on other plates or whatever. It's always been a very entertaining thing for me for um, girls to judge me on the fact that I'm not a basketball player, football player, rapper, dancer, comedian, this and that. Nobody cares if you're an actor. Nobody cares if you're a producer, director, webmaster, all this other shit above. Nobody give a fuck if you own the Pokey Pokey. Nobody cares if you're Mr. Totico's Indian Girls, Mr. Shimmy Show, Sit Up Guy, all this internet shit, all these characters. Nobody gives a fuck. All they care about is literally what they can see in front of them with their own eyes. Which is very short-sighted, I might add. <laughs> but <laughs> this is life, you know? And I think the reason this is, is because I think, I think that so many women are brought up to just have this WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get kind of attitude about life. You know, they, if you have a wife or a girlfriend, you'd be amazed at how much time many of them spend in the mirror, fixing their eyebrows, fixing their fucking lips, fixing their hair. Everything's got to be perfect because I think the girls realize they're judged externally. Their value is judged externally. The purse they wear, the fucking jewelry, their shoes, their fucking car, their this, their that. People like me can actually see through all of these things. I can literally look at a girl and like to see her naked with clothes on and to see, oh yeah, I can see her value right now, yeah. But it's like, I am not fooled by uh, other stuff. Hold on one moment, I have a knock at the door here. Yeah, hello. Oh, hey, how's it yeah, going? That was good. It was on point? Yeah. You liked it? I did. Anytime, you're more than welcome to come back and just, you know, I'll make you another one. Come on. Yeah. Usually one's not enough for me. I'm eating my own right now. Well, you do. The first, well, maybe that was your other website. You really, you love the stuff, aren't you? Wow. I had when I was in Japan and You went there before, too? I think Japan, China, Thailand, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I usually go to Thailand about four months of the year. I know. I've been to Japan twice. Sweet. I'd love to get that, but it's like so hard to locally get that stuff. Cause they have, I can get salmon. I don't want to make it with trout. Usually, this, just traditionally, it has to be salmon or tuna or yellowtail. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that other stuff, that exotic fish, is hard to come by. Because you're living in the middle of the continent now. I know. <laughs> well, I, I, was just in, I was in Las Vegas, like, really, literally, like, the last couple of months or whatever. These places are, like, everywhere. Oh, yeah. like, there's, like, ten of them on every block. Really? Yeah. Huh? Oh, there's a lot of Asian people there. So, uh -huh. they have a Chinatown, too. So, it's like, I want to do this. Well, there you go. But, but that was I, good. Yeah. But I can't, I can't source out all the uh, other stuff. There. You have a blind now? Jesus. Okay, enjoy. Cool. Thank you. Come in. I'll, I'll give you another one if you want. Make another one for you. Yeah, well, I know. No, no, don't worry. Oh, yes. You yes. Need, yes. You need two to be full. Thank you. All right. Jeez, I'm going to have to edit that out. Actually, that was my neighbor in the building here. They love the Poke Bowls. So, <laughs> hope you guys heard that review. So, anyway, it's like, yeah, um... Where was I at? Talking about value. Fuck. Do I... Does Shimmy Cash have value? I don't know. But again, it all depends on what metrics you're judging and what country you're in as well, too. You know, in some places, motherfuckers, I might look like a cartoon character to people. Maybe here in Canada, you know, I walk down the street and, uh... Don't know if they think I'm a Jamaican... A fucking Trini, a this, a Rasta, this, that. There's so many stereotypes I gotta roll with here. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a black Ethiopian selling Hawaiian food in Canada, for Christ's sakes. I mean, fuck. <laughs> Does it get any more stranger? But, yeah, talk about value with me. People fuck with me on this. Like, there's a lot of things that people can do to increase their value that they don't realize. You can, you can take better care of your health. You can exercise for one, you know, uh, get your own. All you can really do is really get your own health and fitness goals in order, get your money in order and go somewhere where you can enjoy it all. You know, if you happen to live in a place that's kind of like just fucked where people don't perceive you of having any value, regardless of whatever race or ethnicity or background you are, you might have to travel like me. I've been to like counting like 25 countries or something like that till you find somewhere you fit in that actually fucking works for you you know you don't want to be somewhere where you're miserable all the time so all that I could do here is basically just sell my pokey pokey bowl stack my money up and go wherever the sun is brighter and the grass is greener you know if people don't see the value in me here or in your house or your community or wherever you're at you've got to do something about it you know 
you can't subliminally change people's mind. You can change your image to a degree. You can change your body to a degree. Uh, you can change a lot of shit, actually. And you might even be able to find some enjoyment in your own places. You know, like, I used to never really like this town much about 20 years ago. And now it's slowly growing on me because I kind of have a plan of action to, uh, to get by. And I'm just used to the way things roll here. So once you live in one place, you can literally live in any other one in the world. It's circumstantial, I suppose. But, you know, for right now, I'll be selling my pokey pokey bowls here, adding value to myself. I hope you guys, uh, how about you guys just ask me some questions about this and I'm going to start just answering YouTube questions in the comments. So if you have any questions on this topic about value, adding value, do you think you have value, please realize that you're not worthless. Um, a lot of times too, I, I've been conditioned and fucked with in my head by a lot of bitches, pussy ass hoes, women, girls mostly, you know, there's a couple dudes to put you down to, but mostly you'll find that uh, a lot of girls who have a chip on their shoulder with like just dark ass energy, evil specters and shit, jai dam as they say in Thailand, black hearted, dark hearted, you know, they'll really demote your value and they'll do their best to tell you that you ain't shit, you ain't gonna be shit, this is a horrible idea, it's gonna fail, it's gonna implode, because they can't do it themselves and uh, for the most part they lack testosterone and testicles to pull out of the shit off to be honest with you. You gotta remember that girls have much lower testosterone by default so I kind of expect them to bitch and complain and uh, tell me how shit ain't gonna work or whatever, I expect that. I don't expect you guys to copy what I'm doing because my balls are probably much bigger